I'm gonna say hey everybody, how's it going? Here, this is our house 21 here. And as part of my aerodynamic upgrades to Slade, I decided that I need to make a new lower drag spoiler just to test out my aerodynamics theory. So what you see in front of me are pieces of sheet metal that I cut out from this lovely piece of sheet metal here. Now my design for the spoiler is actually pretty simple, but there's a couple of things you need to know when you're working with sheet metal. Number one, when you cut sheet metal, it actually, um, well, when you use cut sheet metal with sheet metal shears, like you got going on right here, you know, it actually bends up the metal a lot and curls it up and you end up having to take a lot of time to straighten it back out. Now you see these guys are nice and straight. And the way that that happened is, you know, once the pieces come out, they're going to be curled all over the place. So what you need to do is lay the pieces down and use your hammer and put it so the bolt side goes up and gently work your way through. Oh, and a little bit more force back. But like so, going through until all the bowing is out and it's gonna be curled up like a potato ship on the upward side. You then take it over, flip it, go over it again, and it's gonna take a few passes, maybe three or four, in order to get everything through. But basically, you're releasing all the stress that was built up inside of the piece when those cut. So, after you've done it enough, you're gonna get some nice, nice flat pieces like this. Then I was able to use my little C-clamp here and a little bit of patience and bend these guys nice and nicely. So now I have, I'm gonna make a two-tier spoiler set. So this is gonna be the main base plate. This guy is gonna be um, a little higher. And then I have my two end caps. So with the magic of uh, editing, I'm gonna go ahead and drop this off and I'll um, drop back in in a little bit when I have a little bit more progress. Okay guys, just checking in here. So you can see I've got the new spoiler kind of half completed. So you can kind of see how the design's coming through. So I end up, so I made a two tier and I'm riveting everything through. I'm leaving this side here with the sink with a pivot so that I can actually adjust the angle here slightly. So a couple little tips along the way. When you drill holes, especially through sheet metal, it's a good idea to go ahead and just use a piece of wood behind it. That way you keep the piece of metal nice and flat and you don't distort it while you're drilling. Also, after you get done, you need to go ahead and use metal files and go ahead and take down these uh, burrs that are on the edge from the, um, from the filing. And that will help to make everything sit nice and properly and also keep you from cutting the crap out of yourself. So right. I've got all the sheet metal done. done and cut and riveted. And as you can see, here is my nice new spoiler. Now, only thing left to do is I need to drill the actual mounting holes. And for that, I need to go down, grab slate and just line this up properly. And then of course, paint this guy, bad boy. Although first run, I might just go ahead and leave it raw. Just to, you know, just do a little bit of testing, see if there's anything, any other little trims or, or any other tweaks I need to make to it. But all in all, you know, like I said, it, it looks like it came out pretty nice now the nice thing about this thing is that it's made out of sheet metal so it's strong but it's also very light and also with this with my little design here i've got the little wicker bill here at the end because it's riveted in and it's kind of held together by friction you know i can actually adjust the angle of attack of it so i can do a little bit of adjustment to take to add or take out downforce so yeah it's it's pretty cool I'm pretty happy with it, you know. So, you know, it's definitely, uh, and the nice thing about it is that I can set this thing up for zero angle of attack. So it just acts as a, it just gives me directional stability, or I can go ahead and crank it up and, you know, to you know, try to actually get some better ground force. So this actually may be a more useful spoiler design overall. So you guys to see this the next time I go out and hopefully we can make the magic. Oh, and one last thing. Very important thing about working with sheet metal. When you cut sheet metal, uh, all the edges end up having a razor-like uh, edge on them. So if you're not very careful, you will slice the living crap out of yourself. So always, always, always file down the edges after you get done cutting them. That way you protect yourself, you protect the people around you, and, oh, and also eye protection. 
make sure that you have something covering your eyes because especially if you're cutting or drilling through it these uh, little filing splinters can go flying and no one wants an ER visit so always remember safety first and um, remember the mantra fly fix fly break it fix it do it all over again sometimes fab it fabbing it is fabulous and I can't believe I just said that all right but you guys take care remember to like comment subscribe and we'll talk to you later bye